guys. What's happening? Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. I'm on the bike. It's a little dangerous doing this. Uh, I want to show you something that's right in my neighborhood. Uh, a local minor league ballpark. It's pretty cool. It's called Muzzy Field. It's the Bristol Blues play here. They're getting ready for a game right now tonight. Let me show you the... It's a nice field. Hold on a second here. Let me slow down. Let me show you the front of it. And then, I have something to talk to you guys about. I just saw, I saw something that really makes me ponder. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about it here. Wait a second, let me show you the front. It's a beautiful park. That was dangerous. I'm gonna end up smashing this camera. All right, I want to talk to you guys seriously now. Uh, I just went by. I was just kind of on a, a highway, and I went by a Trump supporter. He's probably about 65 years old. Uh, he was on a busy stretch of highway. Uh, there was a stoplight. It was kind of like a an on ramp, more or less. And. Uh, a single guy standing out there with a sign that reads that read Trump won. Okay. And I, I'm ambivalent about this. I, I want to talk to you guys about this. Hold on a sec. Okay, let me park my baby here. Alright, here. Alright, let me talk to you guys about this now. So I just went by this guy, uh, white male, probably about 65 years old. And he's holding the Trump sign out there. And uh, I go by him. It says, it says Trump won on it. And he's, he's waving at all the cars. He's getting flipped off a lot. He's getting beeps, but I don't think all the beeps are in support of him. A lot of the beeps are like blaring, like a and then you see the flip, flip him off. And it's kind of humor. It's, it's really sad. Like I said, I'm kind of ambivalent about this. Uh, out there all by himself beautiful Friday I'm assuming you know he, he looked he looked relatively normal relatively well dressed and I'm assuming he has family kids grandkids a life uh, a home uh, a lawn that needs mowing and all that um, you know usually I, I, I'd feel I don't know. I feel kind of sad. I'm kind of mad at Trump for, for this, to tell you the truth. Um, so I go by and I give him a boo, thumbs down. And he flips me off. And he started saying something and I, I, just, I, I really didn't want to hear it. Uh, it sounded like he was trying to engage me in a uh, conversation. And I wasn't going to waste one minute of my day doing that. But here's my thoughts, though. Um, you know what? It almost reminded me. He's, he's out there, and I'm just thinking of what a complete waste of time. Um, especially being out there all by himself. I mean, I'm out here riding around, but I'm getting exercise. I'm seeing things, talking to people, um, enjoying the sun. This guy is out there kind of just all angry. Uh, I imagine away from his family. And uh, I just I wonder what his family thinks about it, about him standing out there. You know what? It almost reminds me of when I was using drugs. Like uh, I would spend time by myself, indulging my my addiction. And in a way, it almost reminds me of that. Kind of in this this unhappy place, all by myself. Um, you know, and I'm willing to bet the guy goes home, probably flips on. I'm guessing here. You know, um, maybe I'm stereotyping or whatever, but. I, I'm pretty sure he probably goes home, watches Fox News all night, gets all wound up, probably listens to talk radio when he goes to sleep and gets up in the morning. I mean, it, his whole life, prob I'm guessing, but probably revolves around uh, probably a, lo a lot of conspiracy theories, the one being the big lie that Trump won. Um, I'm not angry at him. Uh, I'm not disgusted or mad or any of that. I feel sorry for him. I do. The person I'm mad at is Donald Trump. Uh, I think he used millions of people 
millions of people like this guy that had holes in their lives, that were insecure about the future, that were scared of uh, technology and uh, the changing culture in the, in the country. And I think he, Trump tapped into that and used millions of people just like this guy for his own ends. You know, and now this guy is standing out there, you know, in, in complete submission to Trump, you know, just wasting his life. Um, it, it really, it didn't affect me like I thought it would. Anyway, just some thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be back later with another video.